back everyone let's go ahead and do a basic introduction and a basic guide on how to use your iphone 7. now this is an iphone that came out in 2016 so it's a fairly older device but it's still supported with apple and i'm sure a lot of people probably still want to know a basic introduction guide of how to use it so starting off with the outside you can see we have our 4.7 inch panel on the front we do have our earpiece right here which is where you go and accept phone calls your front camera right there and your home button with your fingerprint sensor built in now you have your lightning port at the bottom, no headphone jack, so this is where you go and charge it. Now these 7s do have a speaker grill at the bottom and a speaker grill up top, so you can actually hear, you know, the speaker or the music or whatever you're playing up here too. And the volume buttons on the left side as well as the ringer on-off switch, you have the power button on the right side, as well as the SIM card eject tool or the SIM card eject area, which is right here. Now on the back of the phone, depending on the model, I have the jet black model right here, but sometimes you may have the matte black model, the pink model, but they're all pretty much the same. You do have a single camera setup on the back as well. So that's really pretty much on the outside. You do have IP certification, all that stuff. Now turning the phone on, you will get presented into the lock screen. So with this specific area, you can swipe to the side and get into your widget panel, which is always good to see. You can swipe to the right side to get into your camera. So if you swipe right here, just like so, you can now access your camera right there. If you want to go back, you go and click the home button and you'll be presented back into the lock screen. You can also swipe up to get into your control center, which we'll get into in a second. You can also swipe down sometimes to get into your status bar. In this specific case, it doesn't work. Now let's go ahead and unlock our iPhone. If it's your first time actually using this iPhone, you may actually have to go through the initial setup, which is very easy to do. You just go through your Wi-Fi, you know, connect the iCloud account, and from there, it's a really, really easy process. Now at this point, what you want to do is pretty much you're at your home screen. Now with the iPhone 7s, including the 7 Pluses, you do not have a gesture-based design. So really, whenever you want to go home, you single-click the home button. So let's say we get into our Safari browser, which is our internet browser. If we want to go back to our home screen, we click here. The home screen is where all of our apps are. The home screen is also where all of our widgets are. And you can also swipe between all of the widgets just like this, or all the you know app icons and all this stuff. So if you download an app, everything will pretty much come here. If you swipe all the way to the right, you pretty much see all of your apps that you have available on your phone. You can also swipe up one time to see all of your iPhone apps that you have here. So on your iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, all of your applications will come right here. If you want to come back, you swipe out of it. And here are all your you know, home icons and all that stuff. You can also swipe to the left side to get into all your widgets again. So here, if you want to go and drag a widget over to your home screen, you go and click down on your widget icon right here. Swipe to the right side and you can go ahead and place this icon wherever you want. So that's a really awesome thing that iOS 14 brought. Now, if you want to, let's say we went ahead and opened up Safari browser, we click the home button to go back home, we open up music, and we basically want to go back into our Safari browser. Well, there's a really easy way to do that. You want to double click the home button and you'll pretty much see all of the apps that you have available on your device in your multitasking panel. So now if you want, you can click on this Safari browser right there and you can get into pretty much the previous app that you just had. Now you can double click the home button again you can go back to the previous app and so on and so forth. It's a very easy process. There's nothing much to it. So by double clicking the home button, you can go ahead and maneuver through all of the applications that you have. So that's another really awesome thing that you have right there. Now I'm not gonna go through every single application on this device. Everything is pretty self-explanatory. You have camera, photos, notes, clock, but the one app I will showcase to you is the App Store. Now this is the application that we're going to use to pretty much download any application that we wanna download. Things like Snapchat, TikTok, you know, Temple Run, any game, we're always going to go through the App Store. So to download applications, you want to first find your App Store. You can also search for it by swiping down and typing in from here, but that's not really that cool. So we're going to click on the App Store right here. And now where you're going to spend the most amount of time on is this search bar. So you want to click on that search icon right there. If it changes in the future, you just want to see where that search button is. You want to click right here and you want to type in the name of that app. So by using the keyboard, we can go ahead and type in Snapchat just like this, but let's say we don't want to do that. Well, there's also gesture-based typing if you guys are familiar with that. So now you can go ahead and drag from one icon, one you know, little you know, keyboard key to the other, and you'll pretty much be able to do that too. So in this specific case, if we wanted to download Snapchat, we go and click on download here. It may prompt you to type in the passcode. That typically what happens if you download the app for the first time. And now after a few seconds, usually it's a few seconds. For me, it's a little minute or two because it's a slower Wi-Fi up here but pretty much it'll download instantaneously. If you click on the home button again to get back into your home display and you swipe to the side, you will see that the application will be downloaded right here. All of your applications will always be the furthest app out. 
Now you can hide the app and all that stuff we'll get into in a different video, but that's pretty much how to download an application on your iPhone. Now using the control center is also something you're going to be using a lot on your iPhone 7. To access the control center, you swipe up and you'll pretty much get into this panel. Now up in the top left corner, these are your signals. So your airplane mode, cell data, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. Right here is where your music is gonna play in the top right corner. You have do not disturb, auto rotate as well. So if you wanna rotate your phone, you can go and do that. Your brightness toggle and your sound toggle. So if you wanna maneuver and change the brightness, you can go and click on here. If you wanna change the volume, you can go and drag the volume up and down just like so. Your screen mirroring options are here. That's changed with iOS 15, that's now focus mode. And here you have a bunch of your toggles. So you have flashlight, calculator, camera, screen recording, and these can be modified down in the settings, which we'll get into in a second. The next thing we have, and you can see the application downloaded. So now we can open the application if we want to and all that stuff. Now the next thing is the status bar. So if you swipe down, you'll pretty much see all your applications here. You can also still access all your widgets on the right side or the left side or whatever. You can also access the camera on the right side right here too. So pretty much just like the lock screen, if you have notifications, they'll pretty much come up here and you can pretty much maneuver those as you would. Now that's pretty much it. Now I will go through the settings real quick for you guys. Now you have, you know, the settings app, which shows you everything. You can change your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth settings, different notifications and all this different stuff. But the most important thing you're going to do on your iPhone 7 is probably update it. So in order to update your iPhone 7, what you want to do is you want to click on the general tab, which is right here. You want to click on software update, which is right here. And you want to see if there is an update available for your specific iPhone. If it says your iPhone is up to date, then you're pretty much up to date and there's nothing you can do. You just kind of have to wait it out until there's a new update available or there's a new fix or whatever the case is. In this specific case, we have iOS 14.7.1 being the latest one. I think 14.8 is coming out tomorrow or today when this video, whenever this video is coming out, but that's how you pretty much update your iPhone. Now the final things I'm gonna show you is how to screenshot on your iPhone 7. So it's going to be the same process whether you're on 14, iOS 14, iOS 15, iOS 12 even, it's the same exact process. What you want to do is you want to locate the power button on your specific iPhone. So for me, it's right here. And you want to locate the home button on your iPhone as well. So for us, it's right here as well. And all you're going to need to do is hold down the power button and the home button at the same time until you get into this specific screenshotting panel. So you can see once I did it, I get into that little toggle, this little screen on the bottom left. And that's how you know you actually took a proper screenshot. Now let's say we want to find that screenshot. Well, all we have to do is make our way over to our photos application. We want to click done and there may be a bunch of things that come up. You wanna click on albums, click on most recent photos, and you will see that you have the specific photo right there. So that's how you take a screenshot on your iPhone 7. And the next thing is how to screen record on your iPhone 7, which is still an easy process. So like we mentioned earlier, we wanna swipe up and we wanna find the screen recording toggle on our specific iPhone 7. So we can see I don't have it. So what we wanna do is we wanna make our way over to our control center right here. You wanna scroll down until you get into your actual control center option, which is right here. Then what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see screen recording. So you can see screen recording right here. You want to click that plus. And as long as you see screen recording right here, you can swipe up and you will see that screen recording option right there. So now what we can do is we can go on and click that little screen recording option. And as long as this is red and as long as the top bar is red too, you are pretty much screen recording whatever you're doing on your display. Now, whenever you're done, you can swipe up, click here, and that screen record will now pretty much be out of the way and you'll pretty much be done. So now what you can do is click on photos right here and you can go ahead and find that screen record that you just did. And that's really pretty much the process. You have now just screen recorded a video and that's how you do it. You can share this out, edit it as you will. And that's pretty much the process. And that is a basic brief introduction to your iPhone 7 and how to use it with iOS 14, even kind of with iOS 15 in 2021. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.